Hello everyone, it's Ben Frenzy and we are barely into 2021. We don't have too many sets to look forward to so far, at least not that are confirmed. But why don't we take a look back into 2020 and talk about the 10 best sets from that year. One quick disclaimer I have about this video is that it only covers a few themes from this year because those are the themes that I really follow the most. Even though there were other cool sets like Sesame Street and the Monkey Kid boat set thing. So I give those sets honorable mentions and let's get right into this list. Number 10 on this list is the 501st Battle Pack and although I could definitely name 10 sets that are better than the 501st Battle Pack from 2020, I just have to put it on this list to show the time LEGO actually listened to their fans and made a set that people have been requesting for a long time. The set itself of course is also good and I really like the high amount and high quality of the figures in this set and this was one of the rare 2020 Star Wars sets that was a reasonable price and went above and beyond with figures rather than giving us less than the bare minimum so I'm very happy about that. The Nintendo Entertainment System has to take number 9 for this list. Although I haven't gotten this set yet, the reason I put it on this list is because of the really cool feature where you could turn the crank and move Mario through World 1-1 of the original Super Mario Bros, which is a really cool and innovative feature. I wish they gave us some minifigures in this set, but... I can see why they didn't. Hopefully we'll get Mario minifigures sometime. This is just a really cool set and I hope to get this set one day as well. Number 8 on this list is the Mario Starter Pack set. It is a really creative idea. I wish it didn't replace minifigures but that doesn't take away that the whole Mario course building and interactive playing is a cool idea. It is a great idea and I had a lot of fun building it and playing with this set and although the lego mario kind of lost a bit of interest in most of the reason was because i just don't have the space to build a course but when i did build a course with this set alone it was a fun one to play through number seven on this list is the toad's treasure hunt set which honestly it should be below the mario one because it doesn't have the mario interactive figure but this is just a better set in general and I think it's probably the best Mario set we've gotten so far. The figures in this set are really cool. Toad, Toadette, Goomba, and the Cheap Cheeps. The Cheap Cheap function is amazing. The other play functions are cool too including all of the hidden treasure things you can get. It's a nice touch and this is a really cool set and hopefully I'll get this set someday but I'll have to find a space for it first. Number 6 is the Death Star Final Duel, which is an amazing playset with amazing figures, and it is good for people who do not have the UCS Death Star set, and even for people who do have it, this is just a bigger version of Palpatine's throne room. This is a set I'm definitely looking forward to getting. There's just so many fun play features to mess around with in this set, like the pit to throw Palpatine in and the catapult function thing which I guess doesn't work too well but it's still something really fun to play with plus the storage for all of Palpatine's accessories is a nice addition as well and Lego really put some effort into this set even though it is a bit pricey. Number five on this list is the mobile bat base and it is yet another set on this list that I still haven't gotten yet though I I think I'll be getting it fairly soon. This is the second remake or recreation of the 2008 Agents Mobile Command Center, which was an amazing set that I do have. And guess this is LEGO's way of saying that LEGO Agents is officially dead, but Ultra Agents kind of already showed that already. I mean, those were good sets, but they weren't nearly as great as the original Agents. This set could have gotten much higher on the list if it was bulkier and justified the $90 price and if the minifigures were better, at least for the bad guy side. The good guy side is pretty strong. Mr. Freeze was just scrapped from the set from the previous year. Bronze Tiger was new, but nobody asked for him. Give us Scarface or Mad Hatter or someone we actually want. 
And if you know about Manbat, you would probably know that he's not really a bad guy. In fact, he is kind of Batman's ally, and I wish Lego would acknowledge that, but I don't think they ever will. This set may have flaws, but it is still an amazing set, and it goes with my controversial opinion that LEGO Batman is not running out of ideas, not even close. We need more Batman sets, and DC sets for that matter, but only after we have enough Batman sets, because Batman is what's the best part of DC. I am a huge Batman fan. I've seen the animated series. I've watched the Dark Knight trilogy, the 1989 movie, and read a few of the comics. So I wish Batman was more represented by Lego. If you've seen my videos on the Razor Crest on this channel, you might think that I hate this set, which is not the case at all, which is why it's on m number four on my list. I got the Razor Crest set for Christmas, which I was super excited for, and I've built it, and it is amazing looking, and it's really good, and it's almost worth the $130, but the minifigures are abysmal in the set. None of them are bad, but there's a huge lack of them. There needed to be more. Where was Queel? Where was another Scout Trooper? Where was Cara Dune? She could have been the set. Moff Gideon could have been in the set, I guess, too. Just so many characters that are missing, and that's the reason why it's not number three on this list, though. This is still a great display and playset, and I still recommend it despite the sketchy price and the even sketchier minifigure selection. If you haven't gotten this set, I recommend it. It's a good set. Just don't be too excited about the minifigures, though the ones who are in here are really good. Just barely beating the Razor Crest on this list is the ATAT -AT taking the number three spot on this list. I would say that the Razor Crest probably looks better. I don't have this set yet, but the minifigure selection here is much better, even though it could definitely had more storm, or not stormtroopers, snowtroopers. I don't think this set should have been $160. I think $150 or even $140 would have been much better, but still not a terrible price, and I really like the inclusion of the snow speeder in this set as well. The figures in this set are really cool, and the interior of this set is amazing as well as are, are the play features. I don't believe there are any stickers in this set, which is even better. This is just a solid set in general, and the ATAT -AT itself has very few if any flaws a set i am really really looking forward to getting one day well i'm really looking forward to getting all the sets on this list i don't have soon but especially this one is for number two on this list is the 1989 batwing this set did everything right the minifigures were switched up except for batman which makes sense i guess lawrence could have been replaced by bob or had both of them but it's fine with me either way, and the Batwing just looks really good. I don't have it yet, so I don't know how it compares to last year's or the year before 2020's Batmobile UCS set, but should look really good. You can even mount the Batwing to a wall, and although it'll definitely look better on its display stand, I really like that since now it's very, very little space commitment because... You can hang it on a wall where you don't necessarily have a shelf, and I really like that. And that's probably how I'm going to display it once I get this set. As I've mentioned earlier, I'm running out of space in my bedroom. To me, number one on this list couldn't be anything other than the UCS slash MBS Moss Isley Cantina. This set is amazing. I can't wait to see it on display, and you may or may not be seeing it on this channel in the near future, particularly in a haul video, so be on the lookout for that. Like the Batwing, this set did everything right, pretty much everything. All the minifigures are here are amazing and really good. They didn't give us a shortage. People complained that the minifigures who we've already seen before should have been changed up, but specifically M and R, which is just dumb in my opinion. They why fix what isn't broken? Maybe Greedo could have been changed, but he didn't need to be. He still could have been changed though. He's the only figure who we've seen before that I would expect or 
understand why people would want to see him changed, but none of the other ones needed to be. Dubak is also in the set, which is amazing. Two vehicles, one that is new and one that we've seen in a previous Cantina set. Plus the Jawa shop is an added bonus. Display is just so amazing. I can already tell and many figures who are all very detailed and I that's just another reason why the old ones didn't need to be changed up because Legos put the effort into these new figures and that's what matters in the end. I absolutely love the Cantina and everything that has to do with it. I don't want to tell you guys how much time I spent listening to the Cantina song. I, I mean, I'm sure you've all have. You've played Lego Star Wars before. This set did not disappoint at all, and it went above and beyond, and it deserves the spot on, of number one on this list. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. It's been a while since I did a top 10, and I hope to do more of these in the future. Let me know in the comments what your top 10 sets are, or at least a few of them from 2020, and I will be looking forward to reading those. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more videos, including reviews and hauls. There is going to be a haul coming in next month or so, and there's a couple rare sets in it, plus one that I've kind of hinted at. I think it's pretty obvious what it is, but you'll just have to see. Thanks for watching. Remember to wash your hands and have a great day.